Hey designers, my name is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. In this video, we will see how Tiny MC Advanced plugin can enhance not only the classic editor but also the classic block within the Gutenberg interface. Let's get into it. So here I have opened a post that I have composed with Gutenberg. So I have my title, a paragraph and then I will choose a classic block. Well, classic block is the way how WordPress used to work before Gutenberg. So this is how you used to compose posts, add images and do a lot more all within this interface. Well, you can also do the same. You can of course type some text. You can add images. You can hit enter, you can click on this, you can insert an image just like that and you can also resize it, you can click on this arrow, change the size of the image, make it full, click on update and just like that all your content will be wrapped within this classic block. It has few options to format text and to insert few things but in order to enhance it you can install a plugin called TinyMC Advanced in the old classic editor. Well, I'm pleased to tell you that the TinyMC Advanced plugin will also work with Gutenberg. So just head over to plugins, add new and search for TinyMC or just search for TinyMC. So here you have TinyMC Advanced and you can see that it's pretty popular even with the Gutenberg. It was already popular and it has over 2 million active installations. So just click on install. It will install my plugin and then activate the plugin. I'll just publish this post. Now my plugin is activated. So I'll just refresh my post and see what options it will add to my classic block and the paragraph block. So it just refreshed my interface and it added a new remove formatting button to my paragraph block. So if I formatted anything like this or maybe so I can simply click on this to remove all the formatting that I've added. So if I made it italic I can select everything and I can click on this button. So this just added a remove formatting button to our classic block. So sorry, the paragraph block. So let's see what options it added to our classic block. So before we see what's new with the tiny MC advanced block, we'll just examine the blocks before actually installing and activating it. So I just deactivated my tiny MC advanced. So this is a typical paragraph block within Gutenberg. And then you have a typical classic block. So these are the two blocks available by default with Gutenberg. And you can switch between them, change and do a lot more. Anyway, so let's install or activate the tiny MC now. And let's see what options it provides to us. So I'll just refresh this page again. It's asking me to reload my site. I'll do that. Once it does, you can see that it adds a classic paragraph. In addition to paragraph block, you now have a classic paragraph. This is a block with all the formatting options from TinyMC Advanced. So let's see the difference between them. So I'll just quickly delete all these blocks. By default, it's actually adding the classic paragraph instead of the paragraph block. So let me click. Let me add a paragraph block. So a paragraph block is kind of the stripped down version of the classic paragraph block. So previously in your actual editor in WordPress, you used to have all these options. But now with Gutenberg, you just have few options, bold, italic to link, clear formatting and few others. So let's see what options we have in classic paragraph block. So starting with it has an option to print and it has a lot of formatting options such as copy, paste and find and replace. 
copy cut paste and paste as text are kind of self explanatory we'll just test out the search and replace functionality so i just typed some text in my classic paragraph block i'll just click on edit i'll click on find and replace i'll replace block with rock i'll just click on replace all and you can see my block is replaced with rock just like that you have a little neat little find and replace function built into the paragraph block this comes in quite handy when you want to change text without actually going digging in and seeing each and every paragraph next you have an option to view source code so if you have a lot of blocks so let us add an image let us make it a bit complicated so i'll just add a couple of images and few other stuff so i just added an image i'll try to insert a link i'll just say apple.com so i just added a link i just added an image and let's see we'll add a text again we'll add some text and we'll try to format this make it bold italic and everything else now let's view the source code and it shows the html code of the whole paragraph so no matter what you add it you can simply take this code and target these elements using css it's that simple you can also show blocks so each content area will have its own block so that you will know what you're targeting and it will highlight that in a neat little gray border you can see that it's showing it's a p meaning it's a paragraph block so when you convert this whole block into blocks or this whole paragraph block into a series of blocks you'll know what kind of blocks they'll be converted into so if you convert this it will be converted into a paragraph block again this will be converted into paragraph block this will be converted into a block code block and so on so let's remove this you can also insert various links you can also put a table so just like that you insert a table you can enter content of your table and you can style your table using css you can also insert special characters you can also insert an anchor you can also insert date and time you can insert read more tag page breaks and inserting special characters is quite handy with the stinyms advanced so it's mostly useful for copyright and registered signs and also few currency symbols that you might generally use it's all up to you now let's test out the classic block and how it enhances the classic block so again all the options are added to the classic block as well so it didn't have this particular menu on the top it has the same menu so it has all that search and replace source code inserting tables and all that is built right into that right into the classic block so this tiny mc advanced plugin not only gives you another classic paragraph block but it also enhances the classic block so you can insert a table you can view the source code you can do a lot of formatting options all within a single block you don't have to install any other plugins or you don't have to do css everything is built right into it you can also align text you can also add lists right from the same block add a table you can also change text color background color do all that so let's do it so i have a text let's change the text color maybe we'll change it to this so just like that it used to be sorry let's this is a text so it was purple previously i'll just highlight this and change it to some pink maybe so just like that you can see again you can change it to any color you want so i can maybe change it to blue 
just like that you can also change the background color of the text so i'll just select the text change the background color just like that it will be quite handy for highlighting your text with a background or when you highlight want to highlight a series of words you can do all that right within the classic block provided with gutenberg so tiny mc advanced is really a handy plugin plus it's tested and it was kind of a legacy plugin so you can obviously install it and use it on your site let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you think this tiny mc advanced plugin for gutenberg will be useful to you or not i'll just see and if there are any more updates i'll just come up with them till then catch you peace and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace